the big-headed bilby. Far across the desert, where the warm wind blows, lived a big-headed bilby that nobody knows. This isn't right, said the bilby. The world needs to see the greatest of creatures. Yes, that's right, me. So he boarded a train headed for the coast, ready to meet some friends to which he could boast. The bilby arrived, and above flew an odd-looking bird. Its squawk was loud, its mohawk absurd. Hey, mate, yes, you up there. What are you squawking about? Come... Next stop was the home of an echidna, a strange-looking creature, and I'm not kidding you. They're perfect for brushing the hair on your head and roasting marshmallows to keep my friends fed. Your spikes sure sound useful, said the bilby. But just wait and see. There won't be another as amazing as me. The croc crept closer, and then it roared, Rawr! The bilby's response started with an, Ah! The croc laughed and said, You think I want to eat you? You're small and scrawny, and there's not much to chew. So jump on in, have a swim, the water's cool. It was time to meet the creatures that live under the sea. The bilby dove deep in the beautiful blue, and there swam an octopus who said, Nice to meet you. Feast your eyes, said the bilby. I'm greater than a whale. Hmm, said the octopus. You know that sounds great, but I look at your legs and I'm not counting eight. The bilby hopped on, then slid down a hill, and there was a thing with webbed feet and a bill. Crikey, said the bilby. I just never knew. So many amazing animals. And now, you. Everyone's different. It's what makes us all great. You'll see furry and fast and enormous. Just wait. You might have big ears, but you don't want a big head. Be yourself, be humble, and be happy with that. Otherwise, you might be confused with a rat. The bilby smiled as he thought about the friends he had met as they sat by the billabong and watched the sun set. The end.